facts. A little boy from Amelia may be the youngest inventor to patent a product, and his family credits his ability to a team of neonatal experts at Good Samaritan Hospital. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares the story in today's Medical Edge. When little Elijah was born weighing less than three pounds, neonatologists knew it was a delicate time. Because this is a time period where they should have been inside their mother. So Amy Nathan and her team did everything possible in hopes that one day Elijah would come back as he did this day, a thriving picture of success. Just really done miracles for this guy. Elijah is now 18 months old, and his family invited us to this recent return to his neonatal intensive care unit to share just how far he's really come. You see, just about six months ago, Elijah was playing at home and had a drink in one hand and a snack cup in the other. Well, he decided to place the straw through the bowl so he could hold the drink and the snack in the same hand. And so he's walking around and he's drinking out of his sippy cup and eating his cereal bites out of it and kind of put them all into one. I thought, that's a really fantastic idea, buddy. And, and that is how this prototype of the Kedoozle, or sipper snacker, was born. Elijah's name is now on the patent, which means this little guy who almost didn't survive at birth is now... I believe him to be the youngest person to ever be putting on a patent application. But even more than that, his family is here to simply share a special story. They know without this medical team, he wouldn't be where he is today, let alone the littlest inventor. They were just amazing. I just can't thank them enough and would love to pay it forward someday to them. And that is what the story of Elijah is all about. As soon as the sipper snacker is on the market, his family will donate proceeds to a special fund that helps other families who have children born prematurely. It's really just a remarkable lesson to all of us that sometimes the smallest things are really the biggest miracles of all. At Good Samaritan Hospital, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. And you could put your name on a waiting list for a sipper snacker if you wish. They're expected to cost about $10. For details, go to local.